Well, we got yet another video that's going to trigger our lovely sunny fanboys out there. <laughs> Look, I don't run the Sony company. I don't run the PlayStation. Maybe you should talk to Jim uh, Ryan. Maybe you should talk to Herman Holst. But anyway, when I purchased my PlayStation 5 back in 2020, a big giant white box, white and blue, and uh, the first thing I saw was 8K, big 8K logo, which is right over here. And then 4K 120 with HDR. You would think that they would put 4K first and then 8K. So, you know what's funny? Not many people really talked about this. Like, I didn't hear any of, uh, like, Sony fanboys jump on this and started talking about it. I didn't hear anyone mentioning this you know all these like uh divas sony hardcore playstation divas i never heard not one single one of them mention this 8k logo why was it there and sony never bothered to tell us why i put it there it's been there for three years it's just recently sony started like removing it that's probably because digital foundry started talking about it in digital foundry obviously it's it's a big you know uh outlet out there and sony gives them copies to test and different things so when they saw that you know they started freaking out a little bit but the question is this why was this put in the first place why was this why why was this there in the first place like why would would you put this this is misleading why would you mislead you know, even today, if you ask a, a Sony fanboy, he'll be like, well, that was in case you have an 8K television. They just wanted to let you know that it will support 8K television. No, it doesn't support 8K output. It supports 4K output, but it scales it to 8K. And uh, there's a lot of latency. It's not that good. Yes, I've seen it. I've seen PlayStation 5 connected to 8K television, Samsung 8K televisions, and 77-inch uh, Samsung. Or I think it was an 88-inch, I'm sorry, it was an 88-inch Samsung television. Um, when I was in Best Buy, Magnolia, uh, one of the friends who works there, he plugged it in. Uh, and there was a bunch of latency, man. You couldn't even play Call of Duty. It was, it was drastic latency. Uh, so it doesn't support 8K. I mean, you can connect anything to your 8K television, but that doesn't mean that you're going to get the native resolution. It's going to get some scaled, crappy resolution with a bunch of latency. And you don't want that. So my question is, is this. like, Why was this put on a PlayStation 5 console? Because clearly, PlayStation 5 cannot handle 8K. It can barely handle 4, 4K uh, native. 60. Barely. Barely. We are hoping maybe PS5 Pro going to be that console that's going to handle native 4K60. So how come no one ever mentioned this? How come no one ever like, brought this up? Until now, three and a half, three and a half years later, finally, uh, people are starting to talk about this. And that's because the, uh, uh, what you call it, Digital Foundry finally acknowledged this. So if you purchased a brand new PS5, up until a few months ago, you probably noticed the big 8K logo on the box. Well, Sony ended up scrubbing the 8K part, which some console warriors have only just noticed. How could you just have noticed this, bro? The console's been out for, for three and a half years, man. How could you have just noticed this? A thread about the removal... A thread. Thread thread t-h-r-e-a-d thread about the removal has since gone viral resulting in some bizarre conspiracy theories uh what sony really said about ps5 8k capabilities playstation 5 is compatible with the 8k displays at launch and after a future system software update will be able to output resolution up to 8k when content is available with supported software that's what they said in November 2020. Well, 
Guess what, cousin? It does not. I already tested it. It does not support 8K output. I'm sorry. It only supports 4K. So it's all you're going to get. It's a 4K scaled to 8K. So that means that you're going to get a 4K resolution that's going to be scaling to 8K. But you're not getting a native 8K output. You're still getting a source 4K output. The company never claimed anything beyond the above. And the removal of 8K from the box doesn't really change anything. We don't claim to know why Sony updated the box, but presumably because it doesn't look like any developer will be releasing 8K content anytime soon. Not at this generation at least. It is false advertising and Sony should be sued for it. Wrote one user on EX. Yeah, because they will transfer it. 8k claim to the playstation 5 pro box which most likely they will so this shows you just how sony is how they are how they're willing to manipulate how they're willing to to take a risk and and and, and see if people are going to notice or not notice how they're testing uh, this is the issue with being a fanboy guys because when you're a fanboy, you justify everything that this company does. And you don't question anything. That is my only issue with, with people being fanboys. Listen, man, if you love PlayStation, if you love it, dude, that's fine. I have nothing against you loving PlayStation. I love it too. But I can also criticize the company when they do something so stupid like this. You should be able to criticize company. I criticize Xbox when they deserve criticism. I criticize the, you know, uh, PlayStation when they deserve the criticism. You got to be able to do that, you know. And if you can't do that, then the point being is you're not, you know, really doing uh, yourself a favor or a fan base. A favor as a fan base let me put it this way it's okay if there's people out there who love the blue team the green team that's fine dude it's all good i'm not against that my only thing is you should demand better as a fan you guys always should demand better there's absolutely nothing wrong with that you should always demand better you should tell these companies, hey, we demand better. We want better. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Right? We spend a lot of money into these consoles. We pay for their services. We should demand better. We should demand Days Gone 2, uh, the sequel to The Order 1886. We should demand and question a lot of different things. Because they need us. They, they can't. PlayStation can't survive without us. We're their bloodline. Xbox cannot survive without us. We're their bloodline. They need us. So that's the whole point here. I have no problem people being fans of a certain brand. You could be a fan of anything. But you should always demand better. And you should question things like this. Don't just justify everything. Because when you justify everything that the company does, then they think we're stupid. They think we're just, you know, whatever. We'll take anything. And if we tell them we'll take anything, well, then guess what? They're going to put stuff like this for three and a half years with some nonsense that says 8K when clearly cannot support 8K. Sorry. Clearly cannot do it. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Let me know what you think. What do you think uh, Sony put this out there? Because you're not getting it. There's no 8K content you you i mean you can connect anything to listen before you guys stop leaving the comments you can connect a calculator to your 8k television you can connect your dvd player to your 8k television but you're not gonna get a native 8k resolution you're gonna get a source of 1080p upscale to 8k and how that upscale is gonna look i don't know it might look not good because you're trying to fill in uh, uh, 33 million pixels. <laughs> so, 
let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching.